हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस इंपॉर्ट वीडियो वी विल बी डीलिंग विद द टाइप्स ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ सीक्वेंस ऑफ फंक्शंस ओके सो द कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ फंक्शंस कैन बी कैटेगराइज इनटू टू मेजर कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट वन इज पॉइंट वाइज कन्वर्जेंस सो व्हाट इज पॉइंट वाइज कन्वर्जेंस दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इट दैट इफ एफ एन इज अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ फंक्शन ऑन अ सबसेट ए ऑफ रियल नंबर्स टू आर सो बेसिकली एफ एन इज अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ रियल वैल्यूड फंक्शन एंड सपोज ए नॉट इज अ सबसेट ऑफ ए and we have defined f to be a function from a not to r that is f is a real valued function on a not which is a subset of a then we say that the sequence fn converges point wise on a not to f if for each x in a not the sequence fn s converges to fx okay so what is uh, what is this this is simple uh, convergence of a sequence of a sequence we have done it in the real analysis course already right so uh, what is the definition of convergence for each epsilon greater than 0 there exist and not in natural numbers such that fnx minus fx is less than epsilon for every n greater than or equal to n not right here in point wise convergence this n not right this n not is basically dependent on x as well as on epsilon that is this n not is dependent on the point we have chosen that is the x okay and on the epsilon okay the second category is uniform convergence so in uniform convergence that have, uh, first of all we will look on the definition A sequence f n of functions on A converges uniformly on A not to a function f. If for each epsilon greater than zero, there exists a natural number k epsilon such that if n is greater than or equal to k epsilon, f n x minus f x is less than epsilon. Okay. So, what, uh, so basically, what is the difference between pointwise convergence and uniform convergence? The difference comes in the this number we uh, we uh, after which the convergence is guaranteed. That is. in point wise convergence this n not is dependent on the point we have chosen that is x and on the epsilon right whereas in uniform convergence this n not basically we have uh, denoted it by k epsilon so k epsilon is independent of the point chosen but it depends on the epsilon okay so this is the major and the only difference between the point wise convergence and uniform convergence now if you just negate the definition of uniform convergence we will get a test or a kind of result which says that a function does not converge to any function uniformly if and only if for some epsilon not greater than 0 there exists a subsequence of fn say f n k and a sequence x k in a not such that f n k x k minus f of x k modulus is greater than or equal to epsilon not for all k in natural numbers right so this is just the negation of the definition of uniform convergence we can if we can get just one subsequence of fn which does not converge to fx right on the point xk right then we say we, we can say that fn does not converge to f uniformly right so there is a uh, notation we use we use uh, often <coughs> for the uniform convergence right so fn converges to f uniformly then we denoted by these two arrows right this means that fn converges to f uniformly okay so let's see an easy example I will show you the difference between uniform convergence and pointwise convergence with the help of this example. So let f n x be defined as x over n, okay? Where x belong to 
real numbers and n is as usual a natural numbers okay so we all know that as n tend to infinity fn x tends to 0 right so if for every epsilon greater than 0 there exist n not in natural numbers such that fn x minus 0 will be less than epsilon for every n greater than or equal to n not now we have to find this n not what is this n not okay so this imply that x over n modulus will be less than epsilon for every n greater than or equal to n not this imply minus epsilon is less than x over n less than epsilon for every n greater than or equal to n not this imply that n is greater than x over epsilon right so therefore n not can be taken as x over epsilon plus 1 so here now you can see that n not is dependent on x as well as on epsilon right so therefore fn x converges to 0 therefore fn x converges to 0 point wise therefore fn does not converge to 0 uniformly okay we will prove it by the test which we have discussed in the last slide our fn x was x over n right so therefore take n, uh, my n k to be k and x k to be k as well therefore my f n k x k what this will be k over k right so this will be one so therefore f n k x k minus f of x k modulus what this will be this will be 1 minus 0 which will be 1 right so therefore fn does not converge to f uniformly right because if i take because if i take my epsilon naught to be half or basically any number less than 1 and greater than 0 then my uh, this inequality will hold true right xk minus f of xk greater than or equal to epsilon naught this this inequality will hold true right so by the last result which we have discussed fn will not converge to f uniformly right now if i consider the same sequence fn x to be x over n but now my x is contained in a interval bounded interval okay so therefore there exists a number capital b say such that modulus of x will be less than or equal to b for every x in a b right because x is contained in the uh, bounded interval so therefore there exists some number such that modulus of x will be less than or equal to b right so therefore consider modulus of fn x minus fx right my fx is 0 so why it is 0 because limit n tend to infinity x over n what is this this is x into limit n tend to infinity 1 upon n and tend to infinity and this is x into 0 which is 0 right so therefore my limit function is 0 and this is equal to x over n modulus right and this is less than or equal to b over n right because n is always positive so modulus of x over n this is equal to modulus of x over modulus of n and this is less than or equal to b over n okay why because modulus of x is less than or equal to b now this is if this is less than epsilon 
right let epsilon be greater than zero this is uh, pre assumption so if b over n is less than epsilon this will imply that my n will be greater than b over epsilon right so now n is dependent only on epsilon and not on x right so therefore fn x is a uniformly convergent sequence okay so therefore fn converges uniformly to zero for all x in ab right so what is the difference if i if i have restricted my x to be uh, into a uh, closed bounded interval or even a bounded interval then fn is a uniformly convergent sequence and if if i uh, let it be free the x if it if the x is free that is if x belongs to the real number then the fn the 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 sequence fn does not converge uniformly to f now we define what is meant by bounded functions so let f be a function from a to the set of real numbers okay then we say that f is bounded if f of a is bounded okay now having understood the concept of boundedness of a function we define the uniform norm you will study in detail what is norm in the uh, matrix space theory okay uniform norm of f on a as this is a symbol for norm okay so norm of f on a is defined as supremum of modulus of fx such that x is in a okay now after the concept of uniform norm we are ready to give the result which is cauchy criterion for the uniform convergence so it says that fn converges uniformly to f if and only if for each epsilon greater than 0 there is a natural uh, there is a natural number h depending only on epsilon such that for all m comma n greater than equal to this number h the uniform norm of fn minus fn is less than or equal to epsilon okay so first thing you all need to observe that if epsilon is greater than 0 given then norm of function f on a is less than or equal to epsilon this is equivalent to saying that fx mod modulus of fx is less than or equal to epsilon for all x in a right this is very trivial you can prove it easily i leave it as an exercise to prove it okay so let's begin the proof let fn converges to f uniformly okay so given epsilon greater than 0 this i am using just the definition of uniform convergence given epsilon greater than 0 there exists a natural number and not belonging to the natural number okay such that whenever my n is greater than equal to n not modulus of fnx minus fx is less than epsilon by 2 okay for all x in a right this is the definition of uniform convergence now here my n not is actually dependent only on epsilon right this is the definition this is the integral part of the definition of uniform convergence and by the last discussion this is equivalent to saying that norm of fn minus f is less than epsilon by 2 okay on a right so therefore if i take 
my m and n to be greater than equal to n not epsilon then consider mod of fmx minus fnx okay so if i add and subtract fx uh, inside the inside this modulus i can get less than or equal to by triangular inequality it will be less than or equal to modulus of fmx minus fx plus modulus of fnx minus fx right and this is less than or equal to epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 by this inequality right this is equal to so this is equal to epsilon so therefore if my modulus of fmx minus fnx is less than or equal to epsilon this is what we have to prove and this is for all x in a right so therefore modulus of sorry norm of fm minus fn is less than or equal to epsilon for all m comma n greater than or equal to n naught okay now we have to prove the converse part now let epsilon be greater than 0 and there exist a number say h depending on epsilon only right such that if m and n are greater than or equal to this number h norm of fn and fn is less than or equal to epsilon okay so therefore equivalently for each x in a the equivalent definition is fmx minus fnx is less than or equal to fm minus fn a is less than or equal to epsilon for all m comma n greater than or equal to h epsilon right this is just a definition so what we have got we have got fmx minus fnx is less than equal to epsilon whenever m and n are greater than equal to some number h depending on epsilon right so what is this this is the cauchy criterion for the convergence of fnx right so therefore fnx is the cauchy sequence right so since fnx is a cauchy sequence and it is a real sequence as well so a real and cauchy sequence always converges so therefore fnx converges let fnx converges to fx okay that is fx is limit of fnx okay for x is a okay now we had got an inequality of this form fnx modulus is less than epsilon is than equal to epsilon for all m and n greater than equal to h epsilon right this we have got so now let m tend to infinity in this in above inequality okay so therefore what we will get since fm fnx is convergent to f so therefore this i will i will get fx minus fnx is less than or equal to epsilon for all m sorry for all n get an equal to h epsilon and this is a definition for the uniform convergence right so therefore fn converges uniformly to f on a right why because this number is dependent only on epsilon and not on x okay so therefore fn is converges fn converges uniformly to f